Hi everyone, Nick here, and I have a great PowerPoint tutorial for you. It is going to revolutionize the way you make uh, flowcharts, diagrams, organizational charts, those kinds of things in PowerPoint. How many times have you pulled up your PowerPoint slide and maybe your boss told you, we need to have an org chart or we need to have some visual representation of a diagram or a process, something like that. And so, of course, I know how to do that in PowerPoint, right? All I have to do is insert a bunch of boxes and then insert a bunch of lines and try to line them all up and move them around the page, you can take hours doing that. But I'm here to show you a quick trick that you can make those flowcharts so much easier in literally a click of a mouse. So let's jump over to the screen and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so we have our slide right here. Let's make an org chart here. And I'm just gonna use some generic examples of maybe positions. So let's just start with executive director. Make sure that you're in this bulleted list right here. I'm just gonna push enter. And now we have, maybe we have um, some director positions underneath the executive director. So let's go ahead and just push our tab key. So it indents, it, it indents that text just one notch over, one tab over. And so I'm just gonna say director here. And maybe we have four directors at our organization. All right, now each of those directors has a manager. So now what I need to do is go back up right here, put your cursor there, just push enter and then tab over one more time. So let's say manager. Let's do that with this. And we'll do that one more time. And maybe two of these directors have coordinators. So let's go up to, let's say it's this one and we'll say coordinator. And maybe the last one has a coordinator too. So we'll tab and tab over again, coordinator. Awesome. And maybe this director actually has two specialists too. So that report to the coordinator. So we'll say specialist, specialist. All right. So now all you need to do, we have our structure, our hierarchy sort of set up in this way in a text, super easy to type. All I'm going to do now is highlight that entire group of text we're going to right click and when you right click you get a ton of options but go down to this one that says convert to smart art and you get all of these different options of how you might organize this hierarchical structure so i want an org chart so this is a pretty traditional uh, standard org chart right here i'm just going to go right over here and i'm going to click on that chart <laughs> and you can see literally in that click of a button it created a beautiful org chart for me the squares are there they're all perfectly aligned the lines are all connecting and they're all perfectly connecting. You don't have to try and connect two lines or work with PowerPoint's built-in connecting uh, line feature, which is a little bit uh, unwieldy sometimes. So that is super cool. Now you can do this with other types of flowcharts or diagrams too. So let's go over to this. So let's say we're outlining our research process. And in this case, there might not be a hierarchy. It might just be sort of a flow. So I'm gonna say, we're gonna do a literature review first. Then we're going to create our research questions. Then we're going to design our study. Then we're going to collect data. We're going to analyze the data. We're going to visualize the data. Oops. There's that Z right there. Let's move that to S. And then we're going to report on our data. Report on our data. All right, so now I just have a single line. It's not really a hierarchy. It's just sort of a flow from one uh, all the way down. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to highlight this text. I'm going to right click, go down to convert to SmartArt, and then I can choose whichever diagram I want to choose here. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe I'll just do, let's see. And actually, if you hover over them, it already gives you uh, sort of a preview of what each of these looks like. So I can just kind of hover over these without clicking. I don't have to commit to anything, and it'll show me how all of these processes look. That is so, so cool. And there's an option for more. Maybe I don't even like any of these. So I'm going to say more, and then it's going to give me all of these different ones. And then you can see the list here. You know, they have different diagram options like list process, cycle, hierarchy, relationship, matrix, pyramid, picture, and then some more from office.com that you can download. But let's go ahead over here to process. 
And here's where I kind of, I really like these ones. And this one is a kind of circular one. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. Then I'm just going to click OK. And it's created our entire process for us right there in a beautiful visual. Now you can actually recolor all of these however you want to. You can treat them just like shapes. I'm going to right click and format the shape. And my format box is going to come up. Let's fill this with this sort of lighter blue, and that'll do that. I can go up and look at the text, edit the text to white. You can do all sorts of options then to customize. Because we know the smart art is kind of default, it's kind of ugly sometimes. So you can go in there, you can break the smart art and start editing it so that it looks perfect for your visual that you want to create. So I hope this gave you some new ideas. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate all the likes and subscribes every time I put up a new video uh, on data design, PowerPoint, Excel tutorials. Uh, you'll get a notification if you subscribe to my channel. So I really appreciate all that. I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you next time.